Hey, what's up everyone? In the last episode, we have used the root motion to move our 3D character forward by downloading a running animation from Mixamo.com. If you haven't checked that video, make sure to watch it. But the main camera is in the same position. We can't see our player for now. The purpose of this video is to be able to uh, follow our character by changing the camera Z position so that we can see where he's going and we can avoid obstacles later on. To do that, you could create a C-sharp script that changes the Z position so that we can follow our 3D character. Or we could do the same thing in less than one minute using a Cinemachine package, which allows us to control the camera without writing any line of code. You could also use it for other games like a third-person game, a first-person shooter, and so on. To download this package, you could go to Window, then we have Package Manager, here we have few built-in packages that comes with Unity by default, like the Text Mesh Pro that we're gonna use to create a simple text on the screen. But if you want to install an external package, we have to select it Unity Registry from this option, and let's search for Cinemachine, and here it is. For now we have this version 2.8.9, we could simply install it by pressing this install button. Once it's done, we can close this window. Now if we go under the hierarchy, and right click, you will see that we have this option, Cinemachine, and you have different options like 2D camera for a 2D game. In our case, I'm gonna use the first option, virtual camera. You could call it whatever you want. I'm gonna leave the name as default and hit enter. From the inspector, we have this component, which is called Cinemachine virtual camera, and it contains few parameters, like this parameter follow. We need to drag in the object that we want to follow using our camera. In our case, we are going to use the player, which is this object. For now, it is called tie running. Let's give it another name, like player. Then you have to select the Cinemachine virtual camera again and drag in the player under this follow parameter. And there you go, now we can see our player. You notice that we can't see our plane because the camera is looking at the bottom and the planes can't be seen from the bottom side. Now let's try to adjust some parameters. For example, under this section, body, we can change the follow offset. I want to move the camera a little bit to the top by changing the Y value. And there you go, now we can see our plane. Also, I want to change the Z value to minus seven so that we can see our player much better. Under this parameter, aim, we have this little warning because we need to reference a look at object. We could make our camera looks at a certain point, like the feet of the player but we don't need that for now. I'm gonna change this to do nothing. And let's hit play. And yep, the camera is working. It is following our 3D character without writing any line of code. In the next video, we are going to move our character left and right by swiping. So if you have any question or comments about this uh, video, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.